All right, you awesome K20 Pro users out there. Another video for you guys. A lot of you have been requesting me to sort of preview or review this ROM. This is the Pixel 6 Hybrid GSI. F40 is not working. So if you're someone who's looking for a fully functional port, you can stop watching right now. I'm just kidding. Watch the entire video. It's very, very exciting. I flashed this particular ROM yesterday. I've ran the benchmarks and uh, I've experienced the complete UI. The reason why this particular video is very, very significant is because recently on the B11X as well, we had a port in which everything was working and I reviewed that as well a couple of days back. So you can go ahead and check that video out because when you're talking about a GSI or a port, you're talking about a software or that particular phone which is directly ported to our device and with, you know, functionalities, maximum functionality is working and stuff like that. So today we're going to do a quick first look with benchmark numbers and what's working and what's not working for this particular ROM. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think the hard work is worth the effort, well, please click on the join button and support the channel. You can also go to the description and donate to us via UPI or any other thing. That's completely up to you. No compulsion there. And if you like chatting with like-minded people well join us on telegram we have more than 1200 to 1300 people there and we're present on instagram facebook and twitter as well so join us there so without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is kalash let's get going All right, so let's check this out we have pixel gsi s rafael s stands for android s now, this is a Pixel 6 Hybrid GSI based on Android 12, of course, released on the 22nd of November. So it's been a week, almost five days since the time it was released. Support group is there, Bubblegum team. Oh, okay, Bubblegum team. We reviewed a ROM by them a uh, couple of months back when Android 12 betas were coming out. Anyways, G apps are included, a flash zip, and if encrypted, then DFE, only this, and you must be on AOSP before, okay? I don't think I'm making an installation guide on this because uh, FOD is not there so most of you would not want to use it as a daily but trust me this is a good ROM. FOD and TapTap -tap does not work thanks to these developers. Amazing stuff there and that brings us back to this particular ROM. Right Now the moment you boot into this particular ROM what do you expect? This is a Pixel 6 GSI. It comes with very very less bloat applications it comes with google fired things and uh, it's the first thing that you will notice is this thing is smooth this thing is really really smooth that has been a case with uh, android 12 google have done a brilliant job there and uh, yeah somehow they've managed to remove the 90 hertz option which you get in the pixel 6 pro so anyways, you know, you have a very, very basic home screen over here with the tips, uh, pixel tips over here, as you can see over here, then you have the weather widget. To the left, you have Google feed, which works beautiful, butter smooth, works really, really well. Even the transition from the main screen to Google feed, even when you're swiping, if you actually press the home, see. The transition is really, really good. The animations are what matter to me. For example, if you open Telegram, go back, open, go back, open. Now, I think yesterday or day before I reviewed a ROM for this device. Yeah, there was a Pixel Experience Android 11. So you see, this is relaxed. This is not stuttery or jittery by any means. That is what I meant in that particular video. It is not there when it comes to the bounciness, the smoothness. This is a little less maybe. They, they will improve on this. But yeah, the animations are subtle, very, very beautiful. You get your usual stuff like screen recorder. You can record internal and external audio. The moment you click on screen record, you do get a you know three second timer and then the screen recording starts, bam. And the smoothness is just very, very nice. Even with the screen recorder on, let's go ahead and quickly stop the screen recorder over here. And uh, yep, you have it. Let's turn the volume. Recording starts, bam. And the smoothness is just very, very oh. nice. Even with the screen recorder on, let's go ahead and click the three second timer and then the screen recording start. The three second timer and then the screen Ooh. recording start. Bam. The audio is having issues. The audio is definitely. And the smoothness is just starts, bam. And the smoothness is. Just it feels like as if it's using one mic earlier and then it's either using both or it's switching to a different mic while we do the recording. So external audio, don't rely on this. If you're on this ROM, uh, do a couple of test recordings before you actually go ahead and do something. Right now, that's the screen recorder. It works fine. That means there is no lag. The Google feed works fine. You have quick tiles at the top. And if you go to the edit menu, let me see here. You have extra dim and then, uh, yeah. 
you have your basic options you don't have anything new over here of course this is a pixel 6 port so home settings google pixel launcher nothing to see there widgets your standard android 12 widgets are there let's look at the clock you do have five widgets over here so the beautiful stopwatch and the android 11 clock is present over here which is always a good thing and uh, you do see it has different shapes it looks good i like it anyway so your android widgets doing a usual thing over here working absolutely fine smooth and subtle let me just go ahead and place this widget at the center or something. So Monitor UI has, you know, never failed to surprise me. And even now, as you can see, uh, this particular clock, the quick tiles over here, everything is following the Monet theming system. So if you actually go to, say, wallpaper and style, change wallpaper color, you go to my favorite curated culture wall wallpapers and select this one maybe. As you can see, there you go, bam everything changes color and uh, i'll tell you this this is really smooth trust me this is a very very smooth experience on a 60 hertz display it's really really smooth and i really really appreciate the effort the developer has put into perfecting this particular rom now apart from this thing you have things like get to know your pixel mentioned over here so your pixel tips are present and uh, if you go to system and you go to gestures you have system navigation one-handed mode quick tap doesn't work uh, you don't really have a lot of uh, pixel 6 pro features like live transcribe live translate and things like those if you go to pop-up camera settings you do have the calibration option over here so it will calibrate your front camera to make sure that it works fine although unfortunately you don't really have the option of fod finger on display the fingerprint scanner is basically not working so what happens is if you actually go to security over here and uh, say you select pixel imprint Select the pattern, next, next, okay, okay, see as you can see he has clearly stated that it does not work, so I think later they can implement the UDFPS system and it should work fine. Along with it, uh, you know, I don't see the screen lock option as well. So all in all, you know, pixel imprint is not working. But if you actually go to display over here, you do have adaptive brightness, screen timeout. You have night light, auto rotate screen. Now, one sad part about this particular ROM is that your safety net is not passing and uh, Widevine is also L3. So you will have inf issues over there. And let's go ahead and quickly go to Google Photos and have a look at the benchmark numbers real quick. All right, so the CPU throttled to 89% of its max performance and uh, 171, 191 GIPS. Maximum was 186, 078 GIPS. This is a little low compared to what you normally get in Soviet Star, but very decent scores nonetheless. And moving on, if you actually go to Geekbench, you have 746 single core, 246 at multi core. And if you talk about N2 to benchmark over here, as you can see, 552,341, so pretty decent score there as, there as well. So all in all, Pixel 6 Pro port for the Redmi K20 Pro is still getting there. It's a first build. There are a lot of things to be fixed. I would not suggest you to try it as a daily driver because there are many better Android 12 ROMs. But kudos to the developer who is doing a great job. The link for his work is mentioned in the description. You can download, you can flash it if you want. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye. Friends, you and I must have seen thousands of games on mobile, but the game that I bring you today is one of the finest games that I've seen in my life. If you have sensible observation and excellent IQ, then this game is made for you. If you put in just rupees 10 and you win, then you get not one, not two, not three times, but nine times the invested money. And you can win nine times the money under every 15 minutes. This amazing application is called Taksal and one of the most important thing is if the player checks the winning list before playing then his chances of winning increase even more. I am also playing this game. What are you thinking? Go and download quickly. You can log in via Facebook as well. The link is mentioned in the description.